Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to yet another favorites video. How is it already the end of October? As always, I'm just gonna kind of wrap up all the things I've been loving for the month of October, whether I found them in October, re-fell in love with them in October, so on and so forth. We have makeup, well, a little bit of makeup, hair care, um, body care, skin care, fashion, lifestyle, random favorites, all in one video. You guys see me talk about a bunch of different products and I wanna highlight some of the things that have really stood out to me this month that I think you guys should either look into or um, maybe pull out if you have your own. So let's go ahead and jump in. Without further ado, everything will be linked in the description box down below if you're curious on checking anything out. But let's let's talk about my favorite things. These are literally my favorite videos. So let's do lips to begin with. So the first thing I tried out Road Beauty for the first time or whatever it's called Road. I don't know Road um, for the first time. This is their peptide lip treatment in the color ribbon. This is their like first tinted balm, I believe, which I like the tinted ones over, the other one I tried was the Strawberry Glaze. It's a little grainy, and the other thing about it is that I feel like I wanted it to be tinted, but nonetheless, we're talking about this, the one I did really like, which is the Pink Ribbon. This definitely has a lot more color than the Summer Friday Pink Sugar or something like that, I prefer the shine and the color that this gives me um, if I'm like wanting a little bit more. But my Summer Friday butter whatever is always in like every single car. This is like more of a purse gloss if that makes sense. A little bit more pigmented. I really have been loving this and reaching for it quite a bit. Next thing I have is what I have on my lips right now. This thing is nuts. Okay so I think I showed this in my what's in my purse bag. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Derm Infusions Plump and Repair Lip Treatment. This is next level, looks like a syringe. Um, I am not somebody who really wants to get lip injections. I don't think that it will really work for my face. I don't know. I have thought about getting like a lip flip, which I guess is like where they put Botox here and lift up your lip. But again, I don't care enough to like make a change at this moment. Not to say that I will or won't, but at this moment, it's not that big of a deal. I have a bigger bottom lip than top lip, but that's just the shape of my face. I feel like lip injections really do change the structure of your face so much. I would say more over than just the change of my face is that it stretches that area out. So if I don't plan on continuing to get filler, I'm kind of nervous. So for now, I've really been loving this guy. It is seriously plumping, burning, but it works. And they say over time, the more you use it, the more like long-term benefits you see in it, which I love Dr. Dennis Gross. They're really a treatment sort of brand in general. So I've been really loving this. It's stupid expensive, um, but if you can pick it up on the Sephora sale that's coming up, I would recommend it. I think it's worth giving it a go. If you've contemplated lip trip filler or you're just like wanting a fuller look, it's really good. And it does bring a natural flush to the lips. I do have it lined with um, Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, but I will wear this on its own as well and it just gives a good flush to the lips. It doesn't last more than like, I would say an hour of plumping, um, but I really enjoy it. So this guy, this is probably the best lip plumper I've ever tried and I've tried quite a bit. You guys saw my fall nail polish favorites. This video will come, or this color will come as no surprise. Um, this is a new color that I tried this year for fall. I have a lot of staple fall colors in my like collection of nail polishes, but I wanted this like ch milk chocolatey sort of color to it. And this, everything. This is Essie all checked out. I love the Essie Gel Couture line. My all time favorite, I could go on and on, but this is probably my favorite nail polish line of all time. Um, and I always continue to buy more and more because they're just really good formula and it really lasts a long time on me personally. But this is the perfect like milk chocolate, brown, creamy color. It's literally perfection. I say that when I don't have it on my nails, but I did paint my nails this, this month and it was probably my most complimented nail color from you guys as well as strangers in the world. So if you're looking for a milky brown sort of color for fall, check this guy out. Speaking of nails, let's stick with this. I have been wanting to try a cuticle oil specifically at night around my cuticles. I feel like in the fall, winter, I've been just dealing with, well, over the past years, I was dealing with a lot of like 
cracked cuticles and just like you know what I mean just dry air makes your nails and like nail beds dry so I picked this up this is the OPI Pro Spa um, nail and cuticle oil you can't tell that I've used that much because you literally need the tiniest little amount but it has a little like dropper in it and I just apply this to my cuticles before I go to bed and I put on like a hand lotion and I feel like it's dramatically changed like the condition of my cuticles in just using it for a couple weeks so if you're looking for a good cuticle oil, I do recommend this guy. I am looking for one that's a little more on the go, and I think OPI also has one that's on the go if you're like throw it in your purse kind of girl, but I'm truly not like a lotion-y sort of girl or anything on my hands during the day, which is why I put it on at night so I can like reap the benefits of moisturized hands and cuticles throughout the day without that yuck feeling of like something on my skin. But this has been such a good product for me and I, like I said, I keep it by my bedside and I've been using it every night. A little bit goes a super long way. This will last me years. I don't know why it's taken me so long to realize this, like way too long, honestly. And I'm honestly just like, how did you not put two and two together forever ago? I've been using hydrating shampoos for ever. And I don't have dry hair, like at all. I have opposite of dry hair. My hair gets so greasy, so oily, so fast. So why the heck was I putting more moisture on it? Like clearly I don't need that. I don't have that problem. So I started like diving into the clarifying shampoo route. I was using the Detox, I think by Way, and honestly, not in love. Hate the smell, it smells like baby shampoo or something, I don't know. And I feel like that does strip my ends because that's a thing you can kind of like run into with a clarifying shampoo is it will get the oil off your roots, but it'll also strip the rest of your hair, which is what you don't want. Where I found this is like a happy medium. If you can't tell how much I've loved this, <laughs> this is the Kristen S Deep Clean Clarifying Shampoo. It removes buildup, removing, purifying, volumizing, shining, enhancing, mineral, detoxifying, super sudsing shampoo. It's all of that. I love the smell of it. There's that. But I love the way this really cleans my hair. I use it twice when I'm in the shower, which is why you can tell twice or how much is used. Um, this has just seriously significantly helped the oil in my hair. I used to like get oily roots literally 12 hours after I wash my hair. I just have an oily scalp. Um, and I also use a lot of oils like at night and my routine and my skincare and all of that So I just found my hair got really oily really fast. So using a clarifying shampoo I probably use this three times a week and I have noticed such a big difference and it doesn't dry out my ends I do use a moisturizing conditioner nothing crazy though, but I do use a moisturizing conditioner and this is literally changed the game for my hair like how how was I not aware of that? So if you have an oily scalp and you're using hydrated shampoos, like, girl, I understand your pain. Switch to a clarifying shampoo or just like a more like cleansing shampoo. And I love that Kristen S one. You can get it at Target. I got that one on Amazon because my Target didn't have it in stock or doesn't sell it anymore. Y'all, I'm sweating. It's like randomly 80 degrees in Illinois today. Like... I don't know, it's supposed to rain and get down to the 50s in the next two days, but it is a hot day and like the sun is beating in and it is just very warm, but super windy out. But anyway, let's get into skincare, body care, all that good stuff. Let's start with skincare. You guys are the ones that recommended this to me, the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is the most luxurious, silky, smooth finish of hyaluronic acid that I've literally ever had. Um, I was using the ordinary for a really long time and I felt like it was sticky and kind of just, I don't know, this is just a much nicer formula to use. I literally have this much left. I've used the heck out of this. I already purchased the bigger guy. This is like $12. This one was like six or something like that. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, Ulta is where you can get it and yeah, if there's any other good molecules items that I need to try. Let me know because clearly I've been asleep on Good Molecules. I do love their discoloration serum. That is like a staple I always have in my routine. But this hyaluronic acid serum is like such a joy to use. Something that I've also just kind of incorporated back into my routine. Not really for anything on purpose. But honestly the results have been phenomenal. So Numbuzzin sent these to me. A while ago they actually have them in the pad form but they also have it in like just a liquid form that you can put on your own cotton round 
these have been a game changer. I've been using these as well as the niacinamide ones, but I've been using these like regularly. I only use the niacinamide ones, which I like on nights that I use retinol really, but these are the Centella Relief Green Toner Pads. They're number one um, collection. If you are unfamiliar with Numbuzzin, it's a Korean skincare line. I did a whole video on my channel about them, but they sell their products in Amazon and I love them. I love Korean skincare in general, but these are just so calming. So first thing, it comes with these little plastic tweezers that just chill up at the top so you're not like contaminating your product as much, which we love that. And then you get, I believe, 70, 70 pads in here. If I'm feeling like really just extra dry or irritated in certain spots, this is what I like this for is like if I'm having redness from like maybe over exfoliating or a pix of pimple or whatever the case may be, my skin just feels a little compromised. I will just put these on my face and let them sit. One side is like whitish and then the other side is green. The green side is much more like jelly and soothing and then the other side I use is like a gentle, gentle exfoliation if I'm not dealing with irritation. But I will just put two of these on both sides of my cheeks and just like chill. I get a lot of irritation sensitivity right here on my cheeks. Um, this is like so good. They're a more affordable so I feel like you can do that but it's totally not necessarily necessary and you could get away with just using one but these make my skin feel just so smooth and silky afterwards that I'm just like why have I not been using you sooner and they come very saturated with product and I'm obsessed and I love the container I love everything about them I really like a lot of Numbuzzin products but this is my current love my current love affair that's it for skincare. Let's move on to body care. So I went on an Alaskan cruise last month, the beginning of last month, um, and I got sold this when I was doing my massage. She was like, you have really tight muscles and like your back and da da da. And she recommended trying this guy, the Elemis Aching Muscle Super Soak Muscle, Muscular Bath Soak Body Performance Bubble Bath Stuff. At first I was like, mm, I have tried Elmas products before. They're amazing. They're very expensive. Um, but this stuff literally smells like straight menthol. And I am here to tell you it's expensive, but it's really good. So you can tell I've used this. You only need three capsules. I think I've taken about five baths with this maybe four or five baths since um, getting it. Scott also took one as well. Uh, it's just so good if you are tight, if you are sore. It helps relieve your muscles like you can feel it. I don't know like long term what it's doing, but in that moment when you're soaking in that bath, it really helps. You can also use this in combination with Epsom salt. Energizing, uplifting, it's got birch, juniper, clove, lavender, thyme, blue, chamomile, whatever. I feel like it helps me like I don't know, this smell is very like relaxing but also energizing at the same time. Cause you know when your like muscles are sore, you wanna relax, but you also just feel so tired. So honestly, I've, I've really enjoyed this. If you're somebody who works out a lot or gets really sore, maybe is dealing with chronic like pain or something like this, I don't think it's a cure for any of that by any means, but it's a very nice relaxing soak and I highly recommend it. But if you're just looking for like a basic body or like bubble solution, this probably isn't gonna be your cup of tea. It's it's expensive and the other thing is it like I feel like it makes me sweat so much more and she did tell me that it's very very de detoxifying in that sense that like when you're in the bath and when you get out you're still sweating so take that as you will but I have been really loving it where have I been like I know you guys have talked to me about this as well and my target does not sell it so I did end up ordering this online my target sells the shampoo and conditioner but there's not a line that like really appeals to me because like I said, I'm not, I need a stripping one, okay? And they don't sell that, but this is the Santal Bloom Skin Rejuvenating Serum Body Wash. I have stopped using my Naturium, not for any specific reason, I just wanted to try this and Scott is literally like, where's the Naturium Body Wash? I need it back in my life. But this is so good. It is very like cleansing, but also like not stripping it's got oils in it butters in it all that good stuff and it also has what niacinamide in it which helps with brightening of the skin so i have honestly been a big fan of this and i know you guys told me the lotion is really good and you've told me the deodorant is really good i want to try it 
like I said, I need to find a Target that has it all, but this is very foaming, a big pump, so I like that, and a lot comes out. I need like one pump for my entire body, so it's really, it's really been amazing. And I'm not gonna stop using my Naturium because I love my Naturium, but some days you just want like a smell good shower, and that one's non scented. So this has been so good. It cleans the deodorant out of the pits, but doesn't strip the body, which is, which is key. I honestly have the Naturium salicylic body wash in my shower and I don't think I love it as much as everyone raves about it I don't think I love it that much so that's my two cents on that let's move on to let's do some fashion shall we um first is my little purse from anthropology and unfortunately this color is not in stock at this moment but I think they'll bring it back because I remember wanting it and it was out of stock and they only had the black and the brown um and the red was out but then they brought the red back and I bought it but this bag oh, I'm obsessed I did a whole what's in my purse video but I love the shape the size everything that you can crossbody or handle this bag I, I love it I love this sort of like ox for ox red ox blood red I don't know it's a weird way to to name the color but anyway it's beautiful like kind of maroony I'm obsessed it doesn't it isn't leather but it feels like a nice buttery leather and I am here for it if you watched any of my recent outfitting videos which I'm so happy you guys have been loving I have been loving making them um but I featured this I bought this I believe at the beginning of this month I'm in my hat era I, I love this I am from New York so I feel like you can't hate on me for being like, oh, blah, blah. but if you ask me a Yankees player, I can name really old ones like Derek Jeter and um, Alex Rodriguez, but that's about all. Okay, I can't name any new ones. Who's that guy that wears that hat that looks that made some look like George Jetson? Anyway, or not George Jetson, from George Jetson's. Anyway, uh, no, no, I'm not gonna ask. I love the bright green, the Kelly green. Okay, it's one of my favorite colors. I love adding this to a pop of a color for an outfit that's super boring. I'm obsessed and I have it in like dark gray. I have one in like a taupey tan, perfection. Um, next accessory I have is this little watch right here. This is from Shein, you guys. And when I wear it, a lot of people ask me where it's from and I really think it's super cute. Now I will say it's like got a decent weight to it. You can tell it's not like a super nice watch, but when you're wearing it, you don't notice. I love that the um, little knob and then the hands on the watch are like a blue, kind of like my nails, kind of like a cobalt blue. Um, yeah, I like that part. I will say the gold is more of like a yellow gold, so it does kind of look a little fake, but I feel like I mean, I'm not trying to make it look real by any means. I believe it's like a dupe or a, a replica inspired by um, the Cartier. But I have really been enjoying this. You do need to take links out of this. Well, if you have tiny wrists, um, I needed to order a watch kit off Amazon to remove some links, but highly recommend. Oh wait, no, this one actually came with watch link removal, I think. Yeah, which it was like five bucks. It's so good. I love that watch so much and I highly recommend checking it out. I have been loving mixed metal watches, but I decided to get an all gold. And I think next I'm gonna get an all silver as well because I hear silver is, is back. I guess I'll consider shoes to be an accessory before we get into the two clothing pieces I have. But these are the New Balance 990 version five. I had been on the fence for getting a pair of New, New Balance for a while now. They were on my fall wish list and I hesitated on pulling the trigger on them because I feel like they're pretty plain and they're kind of pricey for what they are, but they're the most comfortable shoes I own. And I think they really do look cute with so many things. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that I got them and I've been wearing the heck out of them. They're cute for with like athleisure stuff, but they're also cute for like a chunky fall sort of casual laid back look. And like I said, they're the most comfortable shoes I own. And my son has ones that kind of match that. So I think it's cute. This next guy is this red sweater from Target. This is from their Universal Threads line. This is their cashmere-esque, feels like cashmere. I have two of their sweaters from that line. I will say once you wash it, it's not nearly as soft, but it's not itchy. I love this shade of bright, bright red. I 
am so happy that red is the new color because I had no idea how much I loved red until red became like the color of the season. So if you're looking for a good affordable red sweater, check this out. I did size in a medium of this because I knew that it's a little bit cropped, but not too cropped, but I like the length of it honestly because I can wear a white tee underneath and see the color poking at the top as well as a little bit underneath and I've been wearing the heck out of this guy okay next guy really is making me think wow is Target coming back because I found three pieces four pieces of clothing because there's two other ones um this month that I fell in love with from Target I have not bought clothes from Target in so long because I feel like they just have had like a flop era I don't know I used to buy all of my shoes from Target and like so many clothes from Target um but I like was walking through the store not even intending on buying clothes and I saw these like on the little like on a little table thing <laughs> that was low and these are the 90s baggy um jean by again universal threads they only had a two and like a bunch of other sizes that I really thought I would need a four but these are truly the perfect baggy slouchy but still like flattering looking jean on me i'm obsessed with these no holes full raw ridge and denim I've honestly been loving like raw like 100 percent cotton denim i just got a bunch from old navy or ordered a bunch from old navy so i'm excited to see how those fit but i'm really going away from the stretchy which is crazy because i have so many abercrombie stretch but i feel like those are a different kind of stretch but i've really been enjoying the full cotton jean and these a favorite they've got a bunch of different washes um but just the plain medium like dark wash was my favorite all right let's move into my last category which is like random food entertainment sort of thing so the first being these chips i got these the other day at target this is my last bag i have two that i'm gonna go pick up like on a pickup order as soon as this video is done as well as a pimple patch for this giant pimple on my forehead but these are their protein chips. Legendary makes like protein things. I like their pop tarts um, and I love now their chips. They're kind of like a pop, like almost like a rice cake sort of thing. They have 150 calories and 20 grams of protein. I dare say that I like them better than the Quest only because you get more chips. It feels bigger. Like look at the size of this bag. I'm obsessed. I'm now gonna try the, I ordered another barbecue. These are kind of spicy. Um, like my toddler thinks they're spicy and um, what was I gonna say I ordered the ranch ones too and they also have a cheddar cheese but I'm not really a cheesy chippy kind of girl I don't know I'm not a big original Doritos kind of girl but I am like a sweet chili Doritos kind of girl and a ranch cool ranch but not just plain nacho cheese so those are so good if you're somebody who's snacky but want to try to get more protein in to stay fuller longer build muscle whatever the case may be those are such a good find this you're like what are you doing girl this is a neck pillow specifically aimed in correcting like your neck shape and just realigning that it's not like cleared by anything crazy or anything like that but I have a little bit of like a hump on my back um mostly because of my posture let's just be real but I've heard a lot of moms as well from like looking down at their babies or breastfeeding or carrying their babies like you know, on their chest, whatever the case may be, um, can mess with that. And I really wanted to aim towards fixing it. I'm also doing like neck yoga situation. Maybe I'll show that on my vlog channel if you're curious to see that. But um, I saw a girl on TikTok talking about it and she recommended this pillow and it's been really amazing. I do it for 10 minutes every day. First, it's a little, or like at first feels really good. Then it gets a little bit painful, but the more you use it, the less painful it feels and just the relief it feels and Scott's been using it as well. It's not like a pillow you sleep on, it's just a pillow you like, I don't know, relax on for 10 minutes. Um, you can do it up to 30 minutes per day. Um, but yeah, I use it in the morning after I get back from the gym, just kind of like realign myself and I feel like it just, it's been doing wonders for my little neck hump so I don't end up looking like Quasimodo. And then my last favorite is podcasts. I've been back into walking and I've been back into podcasts. I just finished season three of Suspect. That whole series is so good. If you have not checked out Suspect, it really isn't, I mean, it is a murder -y, mystery sort of thing, but it really talks about different angles of it and how um, flawed people's recollection is, how 
great DNA sourcing has become or like DNA so the development of how good DNA is DNA evidence is um, has become like flawed because of touch DNA there's just so it's honestly such a good series so I finished season three and um, yeah, I thought it was really good. So I'm now currently listening to Girl in the Blue Mustang. And if you didn't know, because I didn't know, I was listening to mine on like Apple Podcasts, whatever. I downloaded the Amazon Music and you get like commercial free if you're an Amazon Prime member. So Girl in the Blue Mustang is what I'm currently listening to. I love Keith Morrison's voice. He's just my everything. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Those are my October favorites. You guys, I cannot believe this month has gone by so fast, but I feel like I say that every month. But we're broaching into the fun holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and I'm excited to continue to share my favorites with you through the rest of this year and for many years to come. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video real, real soon. Bye.